Hey gang, we are at the Wyoming State Pen, State Penitentiary. Well, it's the old one. This is a museum now. It's closed right now, but it's gonna open a little while. You wanna go check it out? Kinda reminds me of Alcatraz. This is the old stuff. A lot of bad guys were here. Hey, Dustin Burrell, one of our viewers, suggested there was a guy, I think the only man that was executed here in the gas chamber, I think it was here. We're gonna find out. Uh, but Dustin Burrell mentioned this story about this guy. He happened to be in Rollins here because we're doing the story on Big Nose George, which I think you've all seen already now. But yeah, Wyoming State Pen, Dustin Burrell. So this guy that was executed here, I think his last words as he walked into the death chamber, he looked at the jailers and he said, I'll see you in hell and we'll have a little talk down there. Huh? So look at, so there's the water tower. And if you look, you can see guard towers. Now I'm hoping if we get in here, we can. Yeah, I wonder what that looks like in the yard there, right? Look at the, look at the, uh, the siren. Look at that. So I'm here early. We're gonna we're gonna get in here. We're gonna get in here. Let's take a quick look over here. Look at those bars. Those cast iron bars. Oh, and the turrets. Looks like a castle. Don't know if anybody ever escaped from here. See those X's there? That's interior tensile rods, I'm sure, structurally holding the building together. Probably uh, those rods, those rods look to be an inch thick, maybe more, and they go through the building. So there must, maybe there were some structural problems with this, the wall bowing out. But anyway, look at this entry. Very dramatic. All right, guys, you want to go through those doors? Let's make it happen. All right, gang, we are here with Tina, who is the director of the museum. What's your last name, Tina? Tina Hill. I'm the Tina, historic site director for the uh, Wyoming Frontier Prison. Historic site director. And this is the Wyoming Territorial Pri Wait. No. What is, see, that's we, why I'm, I'm asking. Yeah, we're the Wyoming State Penitentiary. State Penitentiary. And this has been closed down for how long? 1981. Oh, so this was 81. a prison, the entire prison for the entire state of Wyoming from 1901 until 1981. 81, that's not that long ago. I was thinking, I don't know, looking at, well, Leaven, look at Leavenworth, it's still going. Right. All right, so Tina's going to, and thank you so much. If you're coming here, you got to, ahead of time you can't just like walk in here and and run through this place this is kind of a big deal tina's um we we weren't here f uh, ahead of time this was kind of like a, the museum recommended and tina's been is being great to thank you so much taking us through so without further ado let's get the tour i'm excited to see this Some great architecture. Thank you. All right, I'll go first. You tell me where to go. This way? Yeah. So, so this, this is, is kind of the entry. Yep, this is the original woman's office. Okay, what are those? Prison masks? Yes, it's basically artwork. Oh, neat. You meet. Neat. So let's see, whatever jumps out, like this looks like the Wall of Fame, huh? Excerpts from the sweet smell of sagebrush, brush it says. So I'm taking that, was it the warden? Uh, at or, the time. Okay. So this was a prisoner's diary written by this man. He was here four different times. This guy here. Stanley Hudson. Interesting. And we, this is our, our only publication. Okay. So we sell his diary. Okay. So you sell his diary. Mm -hmm. Neat, you guys gotta come here. All right. This is where our museum is. All right. So this is the museum part where there's, we're gonna see some artifacts. 
So this is a looks like a pew. Uh, no. What is it? So I have to tell you this. Everybody thinks it's a pew. Yeah. Um, but you can't sit on both sides in church. That's true. So what do you think this is? Train station? Very good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Look at this. The Escape of 1912. So what did this guy do? He was one of the escapees. Shot and killed by posse. October 1912. Wow. So there was a big escape. Here's another. Here's some of the other guys that escaped. Look at that. There's a picture here that I am not going to show you. There's two pictures. And I'm going to tease you with these pictures. You're going to want to see them. They are post-mortem and they're brutal and spooky. So come to the museum. You've got to see it. And also YouTube would demonetize me. They'd censor me. <laughs> So here's like a map from above, it looks like. Look at that. Okay, let's keep going. Who are these people? This is all Bill Carlisle. Okay, who's he? He was a train robber. Oh, okay. Boy, you've got some great photography, great stuff here. Oh, look at this. All right. So we go up or in here? Okay. Look at this. This is the turnkey's office. This is where you're first brought in and worked. So when they first come in, this is where they're pro they were processed. This is where you're given your uniform, probably. So what are these lockers? It's just fuse boxes. And what's that? Like a cool holding cell. No, this no? is the next room. This is the changing room. Changing room, okay. This is where you get your uniform. Oh. Let me put this on a wide angle. There we go. So, again, 1981, guys. It's hard to imagine. What's this window here? That's something you'll have to come to the tour and find out. Okay. It's a good view, but I'm not going to tell you everything because I want your fingers right. to come take this Yeah, part. we just, oh, we got to do this as a tease. Oh, my gosh. Look at, this is what you guys can, and when they come, you can go in there. Oh, yeah. We have an hour-long guided tour. Look at that. Talk about Alcatraz. Whoops. That's really neat. Very interesting. Visitation room. Oh yeah. So they would bring the prisoner out, he'd sit here, and then you'd go in there, I guess. It says no laying, crawling on table, one foot on floor at all times. <laughs> hey, that, that sign does not belong there. Oh, it doesn't? No, it's another riddle. Where oh. do you think that sign would belong? Yeah. It's rules to a game. I don't know. I'm not going to tell you, but okay. maybe your, your visitors will know. Yeah. All right, guys. So Tina says that this doesn't belong here, but where in comments... Where would that sign? Would that be the lunchroom? The eating area? No. All right. Do you know what it is? Oh, yeah. It's like, I'm not going to say that. She just told me. I'm not going to tell you guys. You got to come here for yourself to see. Oh, we're in the room. Oh, just imagine the guards. Just imagine if these walls could talk. Okay, so this is A block. This is our original structure. Opened in 1901. We use it until 1981. Oh boy. How scary. This is scary to imagine that you're in one of these cells. All the cells could be locked and unlocked by the Johnson bar. When you put the bar down, all the cells are locked, unlocked. When the bar is up, they're all locked. 
So the cells oh, that's are, this up here, yeah. The cells are five by seven. And until 1950, whenever you're overcrowded, we would have two to a cell. They are tiny. Oh, this is horrible. I have claustrophobia already. How frightening. Look at you have your little commode. This is all you get. And then you do have a mirror. So you can look at your frown. Those are original mattresses, aren't they? Uh, some are, some are not. No way you're getting out of here. Okay. So that's where the guards would be, right? Yes. Behind those cages. Oh, and you can see the rifle where they can the they can shoot the gun ports. There's a vertical one and a horizontal one. Oh yeah, all over. The, see all the gun ports, guys? Every different angle. Just imagine you're here with all these guys, all the racket. There could be no peace. All day, just listening to men grumbling. Okay, we're next. Look at this. Goes way up there. Okay, now we're going into a dark, spooky area. Oh, eating. The kitchen looks like. Holy cow, look at this. Look at this. Wow. And there's where the guards were, right? Up there? Yes. Look at that with the guns, gun ports, and these table, everything is screwed down to the floor. And what's interesting, what I find interesting is this, is this. So they were facing that way. They all had, they all looked, guys, they all had a, they all had to face one direction and their backs would be to the guards up there. Wow. And this is where they get their food. All as it originally was, look at that. Can you imagine the noise in here? And the, you know, the cups and the bang, bang. They didn't let it get too noisy. Oh, I'll bet they didn't. Look at the tray, there's your slap tray. Just imagine all the, the soup. All the chowder. Yeah. Here's a toaster. So they have toast. Oh man, this is neat. Gotta come here, guys. And when you do a tour here, it's like an hour long tour, real detailed, huh? Yes. So we're just getting, I'm just, we're just teasing you guys. Yeah, I'm not even gonna show you all this stuff. No, no. I mean, all right, which way? I'm gonna go outside now. Okay. Is there any way we could see the part of the death chamber? Perhaps. Okay. And then that would be it. I mean, that, this is enough. This is great. So this is the prison yard, huh? No, this oh, is no. the industrial yard. The industrial yard, okay. So go up this way. All right, we're outside now. So those walls we saw, yeah, there's the guard towers. Yeah, I remember seeing this from the outside. So you call this the industrial yard? Yep, so this used to be the industrial building right in front of you. Oh, okay. It used to be a two-story building. Okay. We had four main industries. We had a broom factory, a shirt factory, a woolen mill, and then starting in 1949, they made all the license plates and the street signs. So if you were out here, you were out here for work. Work? Yep. 
No basketball. Well, that's in the exercise yard. So they do have an exercise. Yes. They did have that. Guard towers are spooky. And what's what building is that? The bottom part is the infirmary, the top part is the death house. <gasps> okay, the infirmary and the death house upstairs. So out those doors is the exercise yard. Okay, so they would go through those doors and exercise. And on the tour, so I only showed you A block, we have B block and C block. Okay. So on the tour, you'll see all three blocks. Right. On the tour, you'll see the exercise yard. So you get to go out there, guys. Counseling center. <laughs> to the death house. Oh, look at this door. Can you imagine? This is your last walk. All right. There's another door. Go in. Oh, boy. Look at this. This is death row. We have three cells on this side, three cells on the other. Death row. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is so crude. This is brutal. I can't imagine how depressed I would be on your last days. And sometimes they'd be here for weeks and months, maybe. Yes. On death row. Or this is where you serve. Yeah. Oh, it's so depressing. Look at this. Okay. We had two forms of execution. The first one was hanging, and this is the hanging death chambers. This is where they would be hanged? Yep. So is this the trap door? Yes. Oh my gosh. How many? We had nine hangings. Nine. Nine hangings and five in the Nine hangings and five gas deaths. There it is. That's the hangman's rope. So the ceiling here is about nine feet, so the rope would be maybe 14 feet. Give that five feet for the neck to snap. And this was a trap door. And I'm, I take it, these are the men. Yes. These are all, so when you come here, guys, I'm not gonna show all these, but you're gonna, you can read. Here's one I'll tease you with. With these poor men, I shouldn't say poor men. But he's, these are the guys that had to, that were, that were hanged right here. First degree murder, 37 years old. Death, oh, death by gas, so. All right, we are now going to see, oh my gosh, the gas chamber. Oh, this is frightening. This looks like Captain Nemo mm -hmm. submarine. Can you imagine? Guys, and there's the witness window. Oh, it goes all the way around. And there's the chair, the death chair. They dropped the cyanide tablets, as I recall, under the chair, right? Right. You smell the almonds. And I take it this is the lever. Yes. They would pull, look at this, guys. 
Oh, you gotta come here. This is frightening. I mean, this had to be a little dangerous. You'd have to be really careful if you were working here to do everything right. But they, they would, you think about it, they just, they would stand here and watch him die. Okay. That's all I have to show you. That's great. This was great. Okay, we're gonna end it here. And I'm so excited. So you guys gotta come here. Thank you, Tina. You're welcome. You're awesome. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed it and see you later. All right, we're at the old prison historic graveyard here. Don't think we can go inside. Big old barbed wire fence, but you can see a lot of stones there. I'll put the camera up and we'll see if we can zoom in on some of these stones. There's a lot of names, a lot of names here. Handmade stones, they look like, right? Lots of names. Forgotten souls. Let's walk up here, we'll look at a few more. Yeah, nobody's visiting. No flowers for these guys. There's a couple of monuments I see in there that look interesting. Couple of crosses, four of them. Get a little closer here. Maybe a look in the back row. Sad. All right. There it is. Behind the barbed wire. All right, guys. Heading to Cody, Wyoming. Stay with me.